With the rising tensions in global hotspots, U.S. military R&D is becoming more of a priority. The government allocated billions of dollars this year to create new weaponry, armor, and other necessary gear, with even higher spending planned for 2023. So, what are the latest advances in defense equipment? In this video, I'm gonna tell you all about advanced defense equipment that has been created using the latest technology, so make sure you watch this video till the end. New weapons that are more powerful than the old ones are being developed by defense contractors, university labs, and small tech startups. These new weapons are designed not for impressing war tech geeks, but for protecting and defending and winning. The Department of Defense's Research and Development arm, the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency DARPA, is partnering with companies and labs around the world to push the boundaries of engineering and science. Here's a look at some of their cutting-edge work. First, we've got self-steering bullets. This .50 caliber bullet, under development, is packed with tiny sensors that enable it to change course rapidly in mid-air. This gives even a mediocre shooter sniper-like accuracy and the ability to hit moving targets much more easily. Additionally, the cost of these rounds is anticipated to be cheaper than what it costs for rocket-propelled missiles, which Exacto could replace, given the situation calls for it. What's more, DARPA is not elaborating on how exactly the bullet modifies its trajectory. Apparently, a DARVAE 64 bits 2 bytes program from Sandia Labs that involves lasers and bullets with small fins 0.50 caliber or larger exists to provide guidance by indicating the target while in flight. The United States Department of Defense has announced that its most recent test of self-steering bullets was a success. The bullets were able to hit moving targets with accuracy, even when the targets were dodging the shot. The project, known as Extreme Accuracy Task Ordnance Weapon, Exacto, is being developed for DARPA, the American government's military research agency. The specifics of how it works are unknown, but the United States has stated that the program uses small fins to shoot out of self-steering bullets and redirect its path. All that is known for certain is that the U.S. announced the program has developed new approaches and advanced capabilities to improve the range and accuracy of sniper systems beyond the current state of the art. The self-steering bullets are equipped with technology that allows them to curve in the air and head toward their target, compensating for weather, wind, and movement. This should allow inexperienced snipers to become much more accurate with their shots, as was found during the testing phase. Unmanned Submarine Hunter As more and bigger countries are investing in ultra-quiet submarines, defense officials all over the world are becoming increasingly worried. In order to combat this problem, DARPA has created the Anti-Submarine Warfare Continuous Trail Unmanned Vessel, ACTIVE, also called Sea Hunter. The ACTIVE can be thought of as a water-based drone that hunts submarines for months at a time. Outfitted with sonar, radar, and other synthetic vision systems, it will be able to move through tight channels and shipping traffic by itself. The Sea Hunter is the world's largest unscrewed ship, measuring 132 feet in length and capable of 27 knots. It is designed as a trimaran, which is a multi-hull vessel comprising the main hull and two smaller outrigger hulls, or floats, attached to it with lateral beams. A successful test with the towed airborne lift of naval systems proved that Sea Hunter could handle communications relays and sensor packages. This was followed by open water testing of the vessel's sensing capabilities and autonomy suites. In 2017, we conducted three trials to see if the suites could work together and meet international regulations for preventing collisions at sea in various scenarios. For example, in August of that year Hunter went out to test with the Mine Countermeasures MCM, payload. DARPA and the Office of Naval Research ONR, also did their own tests to check if one key design element worked. Whether vessels can handle different missions by switching among modular payloads. In January, DARPA completed its ASW active project and transferred the demonstration vessel to ONR. The following month, ONR developed the prototype as the Medium Displacement Unmanned Surface Vehicle MDUSV. Afterward, they put Sea Hunter through a series of tests to check its automated payload and sensor data processing, new mission-specific autonomous behaviors, and autonomous coordination among multiple USPs. Laser cannons, for real. The iconic science fiction weapon is closer than ever to reality. The Navy's recent testing of its laser weapon system aboard the USS Ponce in the Persian Gulf was successful, and the Navy now plans to deploy even larger laser weapons aboard ships to protect them from threats such as small attack boats and drones. Boeing and the Army are developing a truck-mounted laser, which has the potential to beam down incoming mortars or drones from above. 
The program is known as HEL-MD, standing for High Energy Laser Mobile Demonstrator. Similarly, Lockheed Martin is also angling for a share of Defense Department's ray gun business with its Athena system. The beauty of lasers is that they can be used over and over at very little expense a generator on a truck powers the bursts of energy needed, and it only costs as much as diesel to run. Every ship and aircraft carrier. Destroyers and frigates in the Navy lack the air support that carrier groups have with their many planes and helicopters not to mention drones. Although there are numerous small unmanned aerial vehicles available, using them on water is more complex because they must be able to launch from and return to a ship during bad weather and on limited deck space. The TURN program, which stands for Tactically Exploited Reconnaissance Node by DARPA, aims to meet this need with an aircraft that can take off and land vertically. The twin counter-rotating propellers lift the aircraft into the air. After it reaches a horizontal flight, it cruises the skies for potential threats and relays videos, radar images, and other data back to the ship. The process reverses when it's time to land. DARPA plans to construct a full-scale demonstrator system with Northrop Grumman as the primary contractor. Plasma Protection Field Boeing has recently patented a system that would protect vehicles from explodings by creating plasma fields. The ionized air deflects the incoming blast, however, the field won't be able to stop an incoming projectile such as missiles. Other active protection systems are available to handle those types of projectiles. Don't picture a dome around the car like in Star Wars the Boeing system would only work if the blast was coming from one specific direction. Invisibility from a squid. The typical camouflage that is used today can only hide soldiers and their vehicles from the naked eye, but does nothing to prevent detection via infrared vision. In order to change this, scientists created invisibility patches top scientists at the University of California Irvine have found a way to make clothing that use a structural protein commonly found in squid. This will allow objects wearing the patch reflect different colors depending on its surroundings, essentially making it invisible. Many years may pass before this discovery can be scaled up to create a useful military application, but the potential is there. Extra Stealthy Bomber the next-generation long-range strike bomber, though still a concept, is already in the research phase. Development of this project will take many years and be beneficial to Northrop Grumman subcontractors and engineering companies. The new bomber's goals are to be undetectable, quick, and have the ability to carry large bombs. The plane will replace the current fleet of B-52s and work alongside the smaller number of B-2 stealth bombers. To make it harder for radar to detect, the skin on the frame will be coated with a material that makes it look like surrounding colors, blue for daytime sky, white for clouds, black for nighttime. The bomber will also have precision guidance, with high-quality gyroscopes. The research for the gyroscopes, which was partly funded by DARPA, is still underway at Northrop Grumman's facility located in Salt Lake City. However, progress is being made on the skin of the bomber, with help from both Northrop and Raytheon. Satellite Melter one way to remove an enemy satellite is by melting it. A DARPA-funded program with Northrop Grumman and Raytheon is developing a satellite that will be designed to hunt and track an adversary's defense satellite. If successful, the process works using simple physics it reflects a sunbeam onto the enemy satellite which, over time, builds up the heat until causing the opposing satellite to fall out of orbit and burn up on re-entry into Earth's atmosphere. You won't see it in the sky. In fact, it will be unnoticeable. And that's precisely the idea. So this was all on the new advanced military or defense equipment. If you like this video, then give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more tech-related videos.